Welcome back to another Hack the Box quick guide featuring Solid State. We see a lot of ports open. There's a 4555, which is kind of an interesting port. We'll start there by netcatting to that port just to see what we get back. And after some time, we see it's a James Remote Administration tool for what is presumably email. We're able to log in with root root. And we can list all the users and we're actually able to set passwords for them. So we'll set the password for all of these accounts to elevate cyber with an eight, just to have a number in there. And that way we can actually have access to all of these mail accounts. So then from there, what we're gonna do is we're gonna connect to pop three, which is going to be the receive email. So we can look at their emails. And we're going to use Telnet as just a better protocol to do that with than like uh, using the Netcat tool. So doing that, we eventually get this banner here and we can just say user and pass in the user. We'll start with John and then pass. We'll put in our password we created, Elevate Cyber. So doing that, we're able to log into his email account. And we could do this with an email client GUI as well, but we can actually do this command line through Telnet. So we're going to look at his messages. We see this one message here men uh, mentioning Mindy. So we're going to check out Mindy's inbox to see if she has any uh, sensitive emails. So you're supposed to send her the password, so maybe we can find that. So let's see. She has two emails in this case. Looking at the first one, not too much there, really. Let's check the second one. And we see that we have credentials for Mindy. So let's try that with SSH into the server. So upon doing that, we're able to get into the server. However, if we look at our shell, we are in restricted bash mode. You try a little trick here, dash T bash. It will try bash before it applies the default shell. And that is a nice workaround here. Maybe the unintended route, but it does get us the access here. And we see in the op directory, this temp file that is world writable and executable as well. Looking at uname minus A, we see this is a 32-bit Linux system. So we're gonna use PSPY, the 32-bit version. And that's gonna allow us to spy on the process and see what's going on, if there's any cron jobs, if there's anything running regularly on the system. So we're gonna pull that down onto our target server so we can then run it. So doing that and then making executable and running it, after some time, we'll see every three minutes, a number of commands are run. Uh, so basically this temp.py file is getting executed from a cron job every three minutes. So we're gonna edit that to say, hey, spawn a shell, connect to our listener. So it was a Python script. We're just gonna write our own Python to connect back to our shell. We'll start our listener on port 1337 for good measure. And then after a while, we see we do get a connect back. We are the root account. We have root the box.